Hello my fellow romantics and gaming fanatics and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition featuring Cullen Romance. Hello! So um, something I forgot to do was I forgot to judge all the people. <laughs> so there are several people I have not judged. Um, actually I have not judged one person. So I know I've done, I did stuff in M M Emperor, Emperor de Lone or whatever that place is called. And then I went to Crestwood and then I went to uh, the Western Approach. I did that, those levels and I've done a bunch of stuff. So let, let's go sit and judge some people. On the mage throne. Impressive, is it not? Fit for a leader. Meant to show influence and the burden of it. It is where the Inquisition Can use some cushions. Where you will sit in judgment. And who will I judge? Who will I be judging exactly? Those who have done wrong. You will know of them, at the very least. All this presumes they have survived their initial encounter with you, of course. A grim responsibility. Still more lives in my hands. You are a beacon of law, Inquisitor, as others retreat from responsibility. But this needn't be bloody. The Inquisition's sovereignty is derived from the allies who validate it. You are both empowered and bound. Justice has many tools. If their application is clever, execution may even seem merciful by comparison. All right, let us begin. Is there anyone I should judge? Take the throne when you're ready. We will bring him before you. Adamant's influence continues, your worship. I submit Lord Livius Erimond of Virantium, who remains loyal to Corypheus. We found him alive, offering extreme resistance, likely because the Order will ask for his head. In more colorful terms. To say nothing of justice you might personally require for what was suffered in the Fade. A grim and serious matter. Many places felt the pain of adamant. You will answer for a great deal. I recognize none of this proceeding. You have no authority to judge me. On the contrary, many officials have communicated that they will defer to the Inquisitor on this matter. Because they fear, not just Corypheus, but Taventa, rightful ruler of every piece of ground you trod. I thought that there's just people like right? chatting. It's like they're like, ooh, let's see the tea. God. Bring down your blades and free me from the physical. Glory awaits me. Ooh. <laughs> A mage's punishment, tranquil. Okay, I don't know if that's bad. Ugh, I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Even though it's kind of hypocritical because I'm a mage, but whatever. You are the worst of us. The damage you have done is oh, beyond pretty much record. everybody disapproved. Oh, Vivian approved. Punishment. Lord Livius Eremond of Arantium, I deny you death. Tranquility. You. You cannot. I am a lord, you pissats. I will not lose myself. Okay, see, I chose that because I figured he would he would not like that the most. Oh, that how could you? Yeah. All right, let's let's judge someone else. Let's see who else I make mad. Another of the lingering pains of Adamant, your worship. Sir Ruth is a senior warden of the Order. She was one of the many who slit the throat of another to bind a demon. Oh boy. She does not contest this. You got gray hair. In fact, she surrendered to us. She requests no mercy. She wants the public justice of the headman's axe. Uh, I'm confused. You want to die? You were free to rejoin your comrades, and yet you present yourself here. There is no excuse for my actions. I murdered another of the order. That blood marks me more than the blight ever could. Accepting their actions while thralls of Corypheus, many treaties allow wardens any extreme if it opposes the blight. I can't do it. 
I can't use the greater good to justify my crimes. Well, that's, if it would that's good. Future, I could be a part and of. that you have personal responsibility. It is this broke me. I've done worse with full sanction. I can do nothing except be an example of the cost. Um... Andraste forgives you. The Inquisition stands for faith. Our work has Okay, purpose. some people like that. Sometimes we need a reminder. Sir Ruth, the Herald of Andraste forgives you in her name. Find peace in that. Your worship, I... I will try. Okay, you, you try, you do that. And then Josephine's just like, next? All right, let's judge some more people. I'm sorry, there's a lot of people to judge. I have judged none. This was a surprise. After you return from the bogs, we discovered this man attacking the building with a goat. Chief Mavran the Under. He feels slighted by the killing of his Avar tribesmen, who repeatedly attacked you first. What should we do with him? Where should he go? Oh, I forgot about this one. With a goat? You answered the death of your clan with a goat? <laughs> a courtroom? Unnecessary. You killed my idiot son. And I answered, as is my custom, by smacking your holdings with goat's blood. Don't look at me. No foul. You meant to murder to vengeance, but got feisty with your inquisition. A red-headed mother guarantees a brat. Do as you've earned, Inquisitor. My clan yields. My remaining boys have brains still in their heads. <laughs> uh, what, uh, um, uh, arm and exile him to Tevinter. Yeah, go to Tevinter and do what you want to do. It seems our conflict was accidental, Chief Mavran, but it can't be repeated. I banish you and your clan, with as many weapons as you can carry, to Tevinter. <laughs> My idiot boy got us something after all. <laughs> I love how it turns him into an agent. I love that. Okay, yay, people approved. I almost did the giblet thing. I was like, wait, no. Alright, let's see here. I need to follow up with these. I, I see that these like are popping into like operations. All right, let's see what's next. Mayor Gregory Dedrick of Crestwood is present for the uh, presence of the yeah, constituents. The mayor. He confesses that ten years ago he flooded old Crestwood to kill refugees and villagers touched by the blight. The mayor claims it was to spare the rest of Crestwood, but we only have his word. Well, that muddles things. He's pleading guilty while claiming he's not. Which is it? There's no cure for the blight. But I couldn't convince anyone to leave a sick child or husband behind. So you herded the infected into one place and flooded old Crestwood? Were no innocents caught in the waters? Nearly everyone in the village had the blight, I swear it. Have mercy. I couldn't tell the survivors I'd drown their own families to save them. I, I, I couldn't. It is a tricky thing. Um, yeah, give them to the Grey Wardens. The blight was your undoing. Let it also be your means of redemption. I give you to our allies in the Grey Wardens. To fight Darkspawn until the calling takes you. I don't deserve the honor, your worship. But I'll do my best. Okay. That was just a really bad situation in general. That was... Ugh.
Okay. And then we, sorry guys, we still have more. <laughs> I have judged nobody. I think you there's at least Gerion two or three. Alexius of Winter. Ferelden has given him to us as an acknowledgement of your aid. The formal charges are apostasy, attempted enslavement, and attempt in assassination, on your own life, no less. Tevinter has disowned and stripped him of his rank. You may judge the former magister as you see fit. Uh, these are grave charges. I remember what would have happened to Thedas if his treachery had succeeded. I couldn't save my son. Do you think my fate matters to me? Will you offer nothing more in your defense? You've won nothing. The people you saved, the acclaim you've gathered. You lose it all in the storm to come. Render your judgment, Inquisitor. Um. Oh, this is the one. I want him researching magic. Your magic was theoretically impossible, Alexius. I could use people like you. Your sentence is to serve under guard as a researcher on all things magical for the Inquisition. No execution. <sighs> Very well. The first time I judged him, I did execute him. I, I did execute him and it was, yeah, I was so angry. I was like, how dare you? You were so horrible. Before you is service of the Minrathus Circle of Magi. You met him and his venatory in the Western approach. He admits to working for Corypheus, raising monsters and using magic for conquest. He also used his connections to smuggle magical artifacts out of the approach, without his master's consent. Oh, I'm actually impressed. You stole from Corypheus. I don't know whether that's stupidly brave or bravely stupid. I was hired by a third party. I've no loyalty to him. Might you find that useful, your worship? <laughs> I'm sorry, are you attempting to bargain with us? Bargain? I plead. I throw myself on your mercy. I also have friends in Tevinter who owe me large debts. Leave what happened in the approach behind us, Inquisitor, and I can put them all at your disposal. Hmm. Yeah, I want him as a smuggler. You're gonna be a smuggler. Someone who can smuggle magical artifacts to Tevinter and there we go. shouldn't be wasted on court diplomacy. Bring those artifacts back to the Inquisition. Procure something really useful, and we might loosen the shackles. Your worship knows value when she sees it. I won't disappoint. Man, Cassandra, Cassandra, she's not happy with me right now. I keep being a disapproval to her, sorry. Okay, I think there's one more, maybe? I'm not gonna lie, I like judging the people. ...is accused of aiding and abetting the Red Templars in the Dales. Mm -hmm. She sold a quarry to them for a handsome sum. Yep. They used the quarry to grow red lyrium by enslaving... I, I saw that. That was horrible. The only extenuating circumstance, Mistress Pullen was procuring supplies to keep the remaining townspeople fed. I'll listen to her defense. If you'd like to explain your intentions, speak. My crime was misjudgment. The land sale was meant to bring prosperity in hard times. Yet you kept taking coin from the Red Templars. I love how Even Josephine's like the prosecution. What done to the people. Why not? It bought food for the ones remaining. Isn't that enough? Why is it randomly showing my foot or my leg? <laughs> Um, um, I'm, I'm taking your, would that be bad? I kind of want to do it though, because it's an interesting option. I'm taking your money. 
as a noble of the free marches, I have right to goods won in battle against forces. Oh, they all disapproved. <sighs> I hereby invoke our treaty with Orlay and claim your earnings for House Trevelyan. <gasps> oh, that was bigot. not good. I've never heard of such a treaty. This is preposterous. Okay, that. Okay, uh, hold on. <laughs> can I reload that? Let's see if I can reload that. <laughs> that was bad. Okay, I don't want to do a selfish one. Okay, hold on. Please tell me that didn't just happen. Okay, please tell me I can redo. Can I redo? Alright, I may come back to this if it starts from the beginning. Of Sarnia is okay, of good. Oh, and phew. The Red in the okay, I got scared. Alright, um, I'm not going to take your money because that's just mean. That is not... Well, this is... There's nothing... Uh, there's no point. Let's have her rebuild the town. Mistress Poulin, you will spend all your ill-earned money rebuilding the town of Sarnia. If the townspeople forgive you, your debt to them is paid. Your Worship, I will do my best to repair what I have done. All right, you go, you go rebuild it now, and you do it with pride, and and you do it right. Okay, that's everybody. Okay, thank you guys for bearing with me, and all the judgments. Is that her? Okay. Here, let's let's talk to Cullen. We haven't talked we haven't talked to him in a hot second. Let's talk to you, Cullen. Let's see what's going on. There you are. Were you waiting for me? Yes. I mean, no. I can come back. I can come back later if you'd prefer. No. Please stay. We have some dealings in Ferelden. I was hoping you might accompany me. Oh. You can spare the time, of course. Is something wrong? What? No. I, I would rather explain there if you wish to go. Let's go. I believe there's time now. I will make the necessary arrangements. Yay, it's a day. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. This is going to be so cute and romantic. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, let me see here. Where are we? You walk into danger every day. I wanted to take you away from that, if only for a moment. I grew up not far from here. This place was always quiet. Were you here a lot? Did you come here often? I loved my siblings. They were very loud. I would come here to clear my head. Of course, they always found me eventually. You were happy here? I was. I still am. Um, alone with the mage. Alone with the mage? That doesn't concern you. The Templars have rules on fraternization, but I'm no longer bound by them. I worry what you think of me. I know, but you've seen the worst mages have to offer. How can you not see that in me? I don't. If I've given you reason to doubt, Whatever I fear of magic, I see none of that in you. Oh. The last time I was here was the day I left for Templar training. My brother gave me this. It just happened to be in his pocket, but he said it was for luck. Templars are not supposed to carry such things. Our faith should see us through. So you broke the rules? You broke the Order's rules? I'm shocked. Until a year ago, I was very good at following them. <laughs> Most of the time. This was the only thing I took from Ferelden that the Templars didn't give me. Humor me. We don't know what you'll face before. Aww. Let's go her. Thank you. I'll keep it safe. Good. I know it's foolish, but... Oh, that's so romantic. <sighs> that made my heart so happy. Oh my gosh. Oh. 
that was so sweet. That was such a sweet date. And he gave us the coin and we're at the pond and oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, I love his romance so much. It's just mwah, chef's kiss. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right, well, I think we're going to stop there. And then next time we're going to do Varric's quest, I promise. I promise we will do his quest and it will be wonderful and we'll have lots of fun and it'll be great. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.